What is the most cost-effective way to insulate your garage if you're going to be heating or cooling it? And even if you're not, stay tuned from this episode to find out. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Detached Garage. We've got a new sponsor today. It is Rockwool and their Comfort Bat product. We're going to be using two different Comfort Bat products on this garage build. Today's episode is going to focus on the Comfort Bat R15. This is for uh, our exterior walls. Then, in a coming episode, we're going to be using the R38 on the trusses up above the covered patio area. So today is all about drywall prep. We've got two walls to sort out, and we're going to be using the flash and bat method. So the walls have already been flashed with spray foam, and we're going to be putting the bat insulation into the wall to make that cavity completely full before the drywall goes up. All right, guys, so today we're focusing on putting the R15 bats into these two walls so we can get these two walls drywalled and prep for the garage door install. So the flash and bat system... We've got the flashing completed, the spray foam, and we're gonna fill the rest of the cavity with the bat insulation. This is a good method that you can use for air sealing with the flashing and then take up the rest of the cavity with the bat insulation. The other really nice thing about the Rockwell product is Number one, fire resistance. This stuff, and I'll, I'll cut to a clip right now. We've built a small version of your house out of rock wool, stone wool insulation to demonstrate the importance of using fire safe building materials. Now, we've set that house on top of a steel cage filled with fuel and kindling. And these are chocolates. <laughs> these chocolates are gonna represent everything you hold near and dear to you. And we're gonna put them inside our house. We're gonna put the lid on that house. And I'm gonna invite my friend Jeremy from the fire department to light this place. Now, as you can see, the insulation's not catching fire. This is critical because what that does is buy you time. Time to get you and your loved ones to safety and time for the fire department to arrive and put that fire out. I'm gonna invite Jeremy back in. I'm gonna kill the fire. Wouldn't mind, sir. I'm gonna free the chocolates. <laughs> and there you go. Everything you hold near and dear, safe and sound. This stuff really is fire resistant. And the other second thing is the sound deadening is amazing. So if you're working on wrenching in the garage and you've got a project car and, and you know, work until two, three in the morning and you don't want uh, the noise to travel as far. Um, having this insulation will tremendously help knock down the sound of impacts and swearing when you break that bolt and a two hour job turns into a four day job. A few tools you're gonna want on the job. Uh, you're gonna want some gloves for handling the insulation and you're also gonna want an insulation knife. That's gonna be critical when you're you know, cutting around boxes or um, cutting bats in half so they can go around the fire blocking and everything like that. So an insulation knife is gonna make this much, much easier. The other thing um, you might want is to set up some sort of table with a slot in it so you can put the bat on it and then cut it down. I don't really have that right now. I was actually thinking about um, using the slot of the slot drain to do that. It might work, so we might try that out. But the two main things you're gonna want um, are a knife, gloves, and then obviously potentially some masks and uh, safety glasses for PPE.
guys, so we are pretty much prepped and set for drywall. You can see uh, this bay right here is the only bay that we don't have done yet, and that's because I'm putting blocking up for my Cox hose reel and electric reel. But this wall is uh, pretty much completely done. So we got this over here, we got everything, and if we walk this way, you'll see that we have this wall uh, pretty much done, and so we're about set to start drywall. So drywall, the key things we need to do is get this wall all the way up because that's the fire block to our house. We need to get this wall done for a garage door and then we need to get this wall done for a garage door. So we're gonna do those three walls and then we will take a break from drywall before we do the rest of the garage. But with drywall up, then we can do the garage doors. Huge shout out to our sponsor, Rockwool, with their R15 Comfort Bat. Uh, the other thing I forgot to mention is you can get this in multiple different sizes. You pretty much saw us during the time lapse taking it right out of the, uh, the bundle and putting it right up. Um, so if you have 16 inch on center framing like we have, they make a version for that. If you have 24 on center framing, they make a version for that as well. So um, super easy to install. Huge shout out to our sponsor. We'll get another video going when we do the rest of the garage as well. Uh, just drywall prep today. And then we'll also do a video when we do the R38 comfort bat upstairs in between the trusses. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Thanks again for watching Detach Garage.